Hi and welcome once again. This is Wayne Husky and we will be doing a presentation on using JavaScript and HTML within our web application via the cell editor. So let's begin. The first thing that we want to do is let's create a, a web page. Build it with the .cs files, base classes, and all of it. Let's go ahead and set this as the start page. Okay, so let's click on this 1A cell editor and then the tab down below, you see a cell editor. There's formulas and data stores, etc. But we want to use the cell editor. I have some pre configured code here, so let's do something real simple. I'm just going to do some JavaScript here and do a document.write as uh, the new date function and return the new date. Let's run this and see. There we go. As simple as that, we were able to put the Sunday, July 17th in the big time. Okay, so let's go back to our speed. And let's just pick another cell to show you how you can manipulate where you're putting the information. Okay, so now we're on 4B of the cell. We're working within the cell editor and we're going to drop some more JavaScript code. We're just adding a form here with an input button, calling the time message function, which is the function here. Um, we're going to click on a button and an alert's going to come up after two seconds ran as well. So let's give that a try. And as you can see, since we put it in a different cell, that it's not right underneath this first JavaScript code that we did. We moved out a cell. So now we have a button, a big button here. So we'll click on it for two seconds. And there we go. We've got a whole lot. Very easy to do. So let's go back again to Iron Speed. Let's pick another cell and move out of the way. Well, before we do that, let's actually let's put another uh, date time function right below the other one that we had placed. You can tell where you've put in some code because of this, you see this little green arrow here in the corner. That tells you that there's code below it. So if we click on it, you can see that we have the HTML. So in 2A, we don't see anything. So we know that we don't have anything else to work with. Over on 4B is where we place the other code for the alert. And you can see that there is some HTML in there. So you can always tell where you put your code based off of that little green corner box. OK, so let's place. Another JavaScript function there. This one's just going to bring back the date and time and put a header on top of it. So it's just showing you that if you have JavaScript code in your library, it's very easy to implement with the nice So let's run that. There we have it. JavaScript date time and uh, bringing back the, the month, day, year, and the time. The last one that we'll do 
will be a selection list box that we'll click on and go to the web page. So let's put that one down a little ways. Maybe over to the right. There we go. We have a, a list box there. And as you can see, we have quite a few things up there. Number of people. So let's just pick one. Pick me some on the particular website. Got it. And that's basically it. Um, you can do, or what I have found, you can do pretty much anything with HTML or JavaScript again. Just come in here and do in a heading. Add the font color. Let's just go ahead and put that. It's putting it into the style, the font color in this case. There we go. This is the heading. You could do it in normal HTML also. Just a number of ways of doing different things. That's all I have for today. Um, I hope this was very helpful. Um, please come back soon and we'll have more videos along the way. Thanks again. Goodbye.